Hi, it's Maria Schafflender from True Foods Nutrition and in this blog on pyroluria, I just wanted to share with you a few examples of how I use hair tissue mineral analysis or hair analysis for short when I approach my clients with pyroles. I think you'll find these really powerful and it will give you a perspective on why it's so important not to just look at the pyrol score and not to just look at blood tests. So here's an example of an adult, a 47-year-old male who came to me in clinic for a bipolar depression, long-standing bipolar depression of 20 plus years extreme irritability and anger management issues. So he was having a lot of difficult time in at work and in his relationship. And uh, you can see in this example, so in the blue table, you've got all the nutritional elements and you see that I've circled there for you. So copper and zinc, that first red circle, you can right away see that his copper is well in excess of his zinc level. And as we know with pyrols, this is a major problem where that um, characteristics of copper that he's experiencing, the extreme anger and irritability, as well as depression, would be very profound. And you can also see where I've circled uh, chromium. That's the other red circle there. His blood sugar regulation is really tricky. And there are other things here to note as well. For example, uh, his high sodium and potassium on the chart there. Uh, that's to do with very heightened stress response. And as we know, pyroluria is a stress intolerance condition. So uh, you can see right away also there's some he um, heavy metals present. He's got mercury, arsenic, and a few other cadmium lead in small quantities. And what happens a lot of the time is uh, when we're not detoxing well, when we have methylation issues or pyrol issues, a lot of toxic metals can accumulate very easily, especially when there's zinc deficiency. I'll show you another example. This is a 30-year-old female who came to me with um, lifelong severe anxiety and tension, and her pyrrole score was actually 103, so that's a very high score. Um, she was suffering from mood disorders, but particularly anxiety. And what you can see on this hair analysis where I've circled in red there is her magnesium and zinc are actually very high. And we know that in pyrroles, that's pretty much impossible. So what this is showing us is that she's uh, having a leak, we call it, of magnesium and zinc. So hair is an extraction medium. And right away, you can see those minerals are not accessible to this lady. You can also see that um, her sodium and potassium are really low. Potassium is pretty much non-existent, which is very much a pattern of adrenal fatigue, severe adrenal fatigue. Uh, and also all the other minerals are pretty low, which is telling us that she's going to have some gut absorption issues, which is exactly what she had. So really good um, understanding of what's going on with the person, just not looking only at their pyrrole score, but beyond that. And I'll show you a couple of examples with children. So uh, this was a two-year-old boy who, as you can see from the toxic elements, had accumulated a very large amount of toxic metals, um, most likely in utero from his mum. So he had a pyrrole score of 63, which is pretty significant. And um, even at two years old, he already had lack of focus, really bad eczema on large parts of his body, and his gut um, health was pretty bad. Um, his mum was diagnosed with pyrroles and had a lot of anxiety and fatigue and a lot of hormonal dysregulation. His aunt actually has Wilson's disease, so this is the mum's sister. Um, and Wilson's disease is not common, but it is uh, out there, and it's a very high copper overload condition. So you can see that Again, his zinc on the hair is actually really high. It's extremely high, which is telling us that he's losing a lot of zinc from his body. Um, his potassium is high as well, which is telling us he's very stressed. And that does come up a lot with physiological stress from heavy metal toxicity. So that's just some of the highlights. Um, and then another one, this is a 12-year-old boy whose pyrrole score was 808, and I'm not making that up. Um, we don't see that extremely often, 
but sometimes uh, people do come up with very high pyrrole scores like that. Um, he was having quite a lot of behavioural issues at school and at home, which is not surprising, and a lot of them to do with aggression. As you can see with those red circles, he's losing a lot of magnesium that's leaking out, and then you've got that copper and zinc relationship again, so very copper dominant, um, as well as quite possibly some hidden heavy metal toxicity. So all those tiny little bits of heavy metals in the pink area uh, probably just what I call the tip of the iceberg. So um, that's just some of the highlights. There's a lot more information that we can gain from hair analysis. That was a very quick look. And, yeah, just wanted to show you how useful this test can be when assessing pyrroles. It's a pretty inexpensive test, um, very easy to administer, uh, just requires a hair sample. And something that I use in clinic every single day, and I've done about probably more than a thousand of these tests now. So very um, well trained to look for certain patterns and um, interpret that in light of the person's health history and symptoms. So if you'd like to uh, find out more about hair analysis for pyrroles, and generally you'll see there's um, a link at the bottom of the blog uh, for you to contact me about this test. Take care.